Good day, esteemed B Riders. What's going on, y'all? Let me get my stuff together. This is Balance with Lady V. Um, this is a new series dedicated to enlightening you um, on various means through which you can integrate balance and serenity into your daily lives and into your home. And today, our focus will involve or revolve around one particular area, and that's your living room. Let's get started. Now, take this living room right here. I absolutely love this living room. The significance of achieving equilibrium within your living space cannot be understated enough. A balanced living room fosters an environment of harmony, tranquility, and well-being. It is a sanctuary where you can retreat from the hectic outside world and find solace in your personal domain. So allow me to dive into some practical strategies, guys, that will help you establish and maintain this equilibrium of balance and harmony. Firstly, it is essential to um, access the physical layout of your living room first. Um, consider both the furniture placement. You need to consider the overall space and the allocation of the things that you have. A well-proportioned arrangement not only enhances um, the visual appeal, but also promotes ease of movement too. That's big. Please understand that you need to prevent any sense of clutter or disarray. If you have things laying around, pick them up. If you have things just on the floor, shoes, whatever, pick it up, clean up. Furthermore, the selection of colors and textures in your living room plays a vital part and a pivotal role in cultivating a balanced ambiance. Okay, um, incorporating calming hues such as muted blues or earthy tones can engender a sense of tranquility. In that photo, you saw white and white is a tone of, you know, just a muted tone that allows you to just flow and it's balanced. You can also add colors, but use those sparingly to maintain a cohesive and a sort of serene atmosphere. I'm more of a earth tone. My couch is like a deep brown. Um, I have a lot of browns and a touch of gold in my living room and also peach. I have peach as my chair cushions, okay? Or my throw pillows. Um, soft fabrics to natural materials as what I call a depth of comfort to your space. So make sure it's just a comfortable place that a living room, that's the name, that's where it was derived from, it is just comfortable and peace. Establish a sense of balance as well. Y'all, it is so crucial to cr create a, um, an appropriate assortment of decor and furnishing. Not too harsh, not too bulky, not all the way in the way. If you don't have the space for it, then don't do it. I've seen people do a bunch of bookshelves in their space and it's a small apartment and it's just closed up. So you don't want to feel closed up in your living room. Elements as a visual interest and, and it allows it to be diverse while it also maintains an over, um, it can over apply in your area. So don't go too hard on um, things that you place in your living room. Placement of artwork, great. Plants, personal, personal mementos can also imbue calming and harmony in the living room. It's your personalized touch. It allows it to become a true reflection of your inner peace, okay? So do all of that. Lastly, the last thing I could say about living room, I am so big on feng shui, feng shui. Tongue twister. Lastly, people often neglect the aspect of the balance in the living room. It's the presence of ambient lighting. You, if your lighting is not ambient and it's too harsh, 
it's going to make you feel like, ugh. I would say mix a natural light with a low ambient light in your living room. It will alter the mood in the space as well. Um, I do have a large balcony door facing my living room. So it's a lot of natural light that comes into my home. Um, and I love it. Um, it helps me to harmonize with my space, become attuned with my space. And it is very soothing throughout the day. All I can say to y'all though, in this episode of balance in the living room, foster balance within your living room space. Okay, foster balance in your living room space. A sanctuary of serenity where you can unwind, rejuvenate, and connect within your inner self as well. If you thoughtfully consider the physical layout of your home, the physical color palette of your home, the physical decor of your living room, of your home, the lighting, you can basically transcend the ordinary into a epitome of harmony, balance, tranquility, and peace, y'all, through your living room, for real. My living room, is set to that nothing's in there we we vacuum off and balance your living room balance your living room it will be the ideal interest in your house and also open up your foyer if you have a foyer open it up um that means when the front door is open directly into the living room that's a foyer um, that is a buffer and it is used to slow down. You can slow down fast flowing energy from the entrance of your home. It's a lot to do with feng shui, y'all. You should choose colors for your living room that are beneficial to your qua number and direction or that suit. If you do not know what qua is, it's K-U-A and it's um, feng shui, all feng shui. Just Google it, look it up. Um... And that's all I have to talk about today on this balance. Guys, stay tuned for another balance. It is going to be a series to help you in your home. This is Lady Vasori, y'all. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, support your girl channel. It's greatly appreciated. Guys, I'll be back with another one. I'm blowing blessings of abundance your way. Peace.